If somebody asked me the other day, go, well, what hours do you work? And I look at them, I go, what hours don't I work? Because you're on call all the time. It's worse than being a doctor. Um, and that's why you know, I think the most successful entrepreneurs are the most passionate the ones that are passionate just about whatever it is that they're doing um, and in their hearts know that they're right. Stockcaster Media Group is the fastest growing women's lifestyle platform online. We service women 18 to 34 across fashion, beauty, and lifestyle, all online. I basically couldn't read until I was 15. I couldn't comprehend it, I couldn't understand it, I didn't have the patience for it, it never spoke to me. Um, and you know, really in just about every facet of school, there was nothing that I excelled at. There are no problems that aren't opportunities. And the way that I look at my early childhood education is that really what it was is it was an opportunity for me to do what I do today, which is to be completely unconventional across publishing and across new media and across technology and across what we're doing on a day-to-day -day front to acquire new users and to work with brands and work with advertisers, it's never been done. Theory is one of the top contemporary clothing lines. I had the best role model that you could possibly have in Andrew Rosen who started Theory. From there, I kind of saw this whole thing emerging as most people did, you know, using Facebook and College Humor and knew that my passion was growing towards figuring out new media and understanding how it lived in this environment uh, that we're all in day to day. I ended up going and working at CNET, doing sales and working with you know, what is definitely one of new media's most grandfathered of companies. The idea of Stylecaster, three of us were at dinner. One of our friends, Brandon Perlman, who is a founding partner in Stylecaster, he goes, you know, guys, I have this idea. What are the two questions that everybody wakes up in the morning and asks themselves? What's the weather and what am I gonna wear? We started thinking about what does that mean? And as we looked at what it meant, to us it started off as an iPhone app or it started off as a Facebook app. You know, give women three suggestions or four suggestions or multiple suggestions, full outfits of what they should wear based on their local weather conditions. What it grew into is us recognizing that there was massive segmentation in the market. That consumers were going one place or one set of places for what we call knowledge discovery. They were looking for content, they were looking for experience. They were going a whole nother set of places to actually discuss those things with the people that they trust. They were going to Facebook. They were going a whole nother set of places to actually make purchasing decisions. So what we look at is how we can help users go from knowledge discovery to discussion to decision all within one environment. What started to happen was it just started to compound on itself. You know, one quick discussion led to an hour dinner, led to a day-long Sunday session, led to, oh my God, we need to meet four or five times a week, to, oh my God, we're going out and gonna raise money for this business and build it. It was extremely scary to be going into an environment that was all your own, where uh, you're the boss and the employee and everything and not everything and, you know, feel like you're gonna vomit pretty much all the time, um, which never goes away, by the way. My job day to day is to figure out how do we get users to the site? How do we engage with users? From a monetization perspective, that's where uh, I get most excited. Um, I love figuring out how to make money. Um, it's just what drives me. We refer to the office as the mullet because it's all business in the front party in the rear. Uh, we do everything up here, so most business operations take place. And then we come back here, which is uh, the Stylecaster studio. Um, and this is where the magic happens. So everything that had been ideated gets created here. The gratification of being an entrepreneur is very different than what you would anticipate. Because the second that you win, it's gone the next instant because you know that you have to go replicate it and do it better. But it uh, definitely pushes you every day to wake up and say, you know what, man? I have opportunity. Next 12 months, we will be one of the most talked about media companies in the world. And from a ragtag bunch, um, you know, we're well on our way. And, uh, you know, I will not stop and we will not stop as a team until we accomplish that. <laughs>